Hey, Brian from Garage Mahal. Today I have the X-Tool D5S. And this thing is pretty cool. It's pretty compact. Give you an idea of how big that is. And it's got a couple of components up here that you can take a look at. So you can charge it through a C plug, but it will charge while it is plugged into the vehicle. You have a, mem a memory card slot there. And it does have a nice moisture resistant cover on it. That's your power button. So what we'll do is we will hook this up to the top, and then that is your OBD2 connection, which on this vehicle is under here. And every vehicle is a little bit different. If you're unsure, you can always ask Google where your OBD2 connection is on your vehicle. Okay, so that's in. And typically it will auto start, but sometimes you might have to press the, the button, hold it down for a quick second for it to start up. As in this case, so we'll just hold that button in. And then it starts booting up. Okay, so this is basically your home screen. There's a bunch of stuff on here. You have an auto scan, a diagnostic, OBD2. You have special function, updates, and more. So we'll start here. So the more will give you, you know, your account, diagnostic report, settings. So in here you can turn it to uh, metric or English measurements. Your account, uh, that you can go in there and set up your Wi-Fi settings. This is your cursor back. So updates, I'm not going to press that because it, there's probably a firmware available and we're just going to do some time on that. But anyway, uh, when you first get it, hit updates and it'll do a firmware update once it's connected to your Wi-Fi. So you get it up to date. Special functions we hit, you can do a bunch of different stuff on here. ABS bleeding, um, the battery reset, you have suspension system, gearbox matching, maintenance slight reset. So there's a, a bunch of different features in here that you can do. Um, EGR relearn, then going back, you have your diagnostic you can go into, and that's going to basically kind of like, you know, based on your model and year specifically, you know, you got your American, Asian, Australian manufacturers. So let's go back out. So OBD2 is probably your quickest to get into everything that's going on. You have an auto scan. So we're going to go into that and we're going to hit the first ISO module. And then you can hit read trouble codes. You got stored, pending, and permanent code, so it gives you a wide variety of selections. No codes stored in a module, so you can hit pending codes, and then you get hit permanent codes. So we don't see anything there right now because we need to do a diagnostic scan. So we're going to go back out. So we're going to hit auto scan, auto identification. So it's going to basically identify your car based on your VIN. Okay, so obviously I'm not going to show you that, but it has your VIN. So it's showing a GMC Acadia 2018. So we're going to go back and it was communicating. So now it knows what vehicle we have. So we're going to go back into the OBD2. We're going to hit auto scan again, first module, read trouble codes, stored codes. So now it's identified the vehicle and it's showing that we have a catalyst efficiency below threshold bank and it tells you the code P0420. So I can show you that. So that is your check engine light on this vehicle. So we go back. And then you have selections where you can hit uh, clear trouble code. Um, I'm actually going to do some more research on this vehicle, but it's nice to ha know that you can clear your trouble code on there. Um, let me go through a couple more data points and we'll go back to that. So live data. And you get a multitude of live data points. So you can see as the temperatures and the percentages go up and down. I mean, it tells you everything. Fuel pressure rail reading, um, engine RPM. So, I mean, it's it just like does a fantastic job at reading everything. 
Then you got the absolute throttle position, like now it's 16%. And then it reacts to when you're actually, you know, moving the, the vehicle or you step on the accelerator. So you can see the throttle position changing as I step on the accelerator. So, I mean, it gives you, like, so much data. I mean, it, it's almost endless. So, you can go back... And you can go into each data point more specifically and get more information from there. Um, so, another thing you can do, you have a second set of the ISO modules, and then basically it just gives you some different other information that you need. And then we can go into diagnostic. And again, it would be choosing, like, so DMC. And it'll give you special diagnostic pieces to that. Automatic detection. So, again, shows you your, your VIN and all your vehicle information there. And then we're going to hit OK. And it's going to be communicating. And then again, system selection. So now you got your uh, ECM engine control module. You got your transmission module your TCM, which is uh, pretty fantastic because you don't get that on a lot of different scanners out there. So let's read some information. So this is gonna give you information on your transmission and all the modules, module identification data. And again, that's gonna give you some more information on that. So we can go back out, then you can go, you can read, uh, DTS display, up and down shifts, control circuit. So there's obviously a little bit of an error there that we have to take care of. And diagnostic test. So that basically, so that just gives you some more data points. And then again, you can get live data transmission data and then you can see specifically all the modules in live time on your vehicle so this is handy especially if you're having something that you can't pinpoint that's wrong with your transmission you can have a second person with you go out on a drive while they're watching the live data and then you can pinpoint some different errors but yeah this does a uh, pretty fantastic job on everything but let me uh Let's go back to the one code. So if I wanted to clear the module, so I'd hit like yes on that and then that would clear the, uh, the engine light. All right, and as you can see, the check engine light is off now. Okay, so that basically cleared the error out, so we don't have to worry about that, but I know what the problem is. We have a, basically, a catalytic converter that is not working properly, so we'll end up changing that out. So that check engine light will come back on at some point, but it's a good way to basically figure out what's wrong. If you got a code and error, you can clear it, and if it shows up again, you know for sure that that is what the actual problem is. And then you can decide whether it's a, uh, you know, a sensor issue or an actual mechanical issue. Uh, sensors really don't fail that often. This will help you diagnose, diagnose what the issue actually is and you'll be able to pinpoint it. But again, this has like so many menus and options. It's just like pretty, pretty fantastic overall. But. Uh, definitely something you want to add into your toolkit for sure. That way you can, you know, pinpoint errors and issues with your engine control module, your transmission, or any other module or sensor on your vehicle. But uh, X-Tool makes a fantastic product. Anyway, uh, Brian from Garage Mahal, thanks for watching and be safe out there.